In today's video, I am super excited to introduce you something I have been working on, my own custom design ESP32 development board. Unlike regular development boards, this one is carefully built with a USB Type-C connector for modern, reversible plug-in power and programming. And it's powered by the CS340C USB to serial chip, which means no external crystal is required and driver compatibility is seamless across Windows, Linux and Mac. That makes programming smoother and more reliable. And the heart of this module is ESP32 WROOM32 module, a powerhouse microcontroller from Espressif. Uh, it packs dual core Extensia LX6 CPU running up to 240 MHz, built in Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 plus BLE, integrated 4 MB SPI flash, and ultra low power sleep modes, making it perfect for everything from IoT projects and robotics to real time audio streaming. Uh, with data rates up to 150 megabits per second and wireless output up to 20 dBm, this tiny chip is ready for both performance and energy efficiency. Uh, to make prototyping easier, I have also added both male and female headers, so you can plug this board directly into a breadboard or connect jumper wires with ease. Uh, whether you are a beginner exploring IoT or an advanced developer building production ready hardware, uh, this board is designed to give you flexibility, reliability and power in one compact package. So in this tutorial, we will dive into the schematic explanation, the driver installation and finally I will walk you through the programming and testing of this board live. Uh, so stick with me till the end because this board is not just another development kit, it's designed by makers for makers. Uh, now let's understand the schematic of this ESP32 development board. Uh, at the heart of the circuit, we have the ESP32 WROOM32 module, which provides Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and all the GPIOs. Uh, I have broken out all the pins to male and female headers on both sides uh, so user can access UART, SPI, I2C, ADC, DAC, PWM and touch pins easily. Uh, for the power, the board is designed around a USB Type-C connector. The 5 volts from USB goes to a voltage regulator AMS1117 which provides a stable 3.3 volts required by the ESP32. To keep the power clean, I have used decoupling capacitors, 0.1 microfarads for high frequency noise and 10 microfarads for bulk filtering. Uh, to handle the USB to serial communication, I have used the CS340C chip. Uh, this chip takes the USB data lines that is D plus and D minus uh, from the USB Type-C connectors and converts them to UR signals for the ESP32, uh, specifically TX and RX. Uh, since it has an internal crystal, the circuit is simplified and requires fewer external components. Uh, for programming, I have added auto research circuitry using two S850 NPN transistors. Uh, this works with the DTR and RTR signals from the CS340C to automatically toggle the EN that is reset pin and the IO0 pin of the ESP32 uh, and this allows direct code uploading without any manual pressing buttons. Uh, still I have included two push buttons on the board, one connected to the EN which act as a reset and another connected to IO0 which act as the boot button. Uh, this gives full manual control whenever needed. Uh, there is also a power LED which is connected to 3.3 volts to indicate when the board is powered on and the another status LED connected to GPIO2 which can be programmed by the user for debugging or indication purposes. Uh, finally, all the pins of the ESP32 are routed to the headers. On one side, I have placed the male header and the other side, I have placed the female header, uh, making it very flexible for both breadboard mounting and jumper wire connections. So overall, the schematic is designed to provide a reliable power system, easy programming through Type-C and CS340C, full access to the ESP32 input-output pins and user-friendly debugging with the LEDs and push buttons. This is the schematic of the PCB and after completing the schematic, I convert it into a PCB and after checking every traces and components, I find Finalize the PCB and for manufacturing, I gave its order to JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price. And ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Let me show you. I just you need to upload the grammar file of your PCB, select the quantity, and select the color masking. And after that, click on Save to Cart to complete your order. And here, if you select the fastest shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and PCB looks pretty professional. And this green color PCB looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provide PCB assembly services, 3D printing services and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services. So if you have any PCB project, do try out JLC PCB for your next project. All the important links are available in the description. So before we start testing and uploading the code into this ESP32 board, I want to let you know how to install a CS340C driver in your computer. Uh, because some of you might not have CS340C driver in your computer, in case you will not able to upload the code in this ESP32. 
uh, to check if your computer has cs340 driver uh, installed or not for this go to device manager of your computer and under the port you must see the cs340 usb serial which is connected on your one of your uh, communication port that is one of your usb port if you don't see this usb serial C, uh, cs340 that means your computer doesn't have uh, this driver to install this driver open this website uh, you will get this link in the description open this website and click here drivers uh, this driver is available for all operating systems like windows mac linux so download uh, the driver according to your operating system uh, i am going to upload this windows so download this and extract this folder and here we will see a setup application of this cs340c driver so open it and install it click here on install it will automatically install cs340c driver in your computer uh, now after installing this driver that is cs340c so after successfully installing the cs340c driver uh, on your computer uh, let's test this esp32 by uploading some of example code so after successfully uh, installing the driver of CS340C, now let's test this ESP32. Uh, first I'm going to test this onboard LED which is connected on GPIO2. Uh, I will upload a blinking sketch and, and see how this uh, ESP32 performs. So open your Arduino ID and go to files and from the examples open this uh, basic blink sketch and change the pin mode that is pin number to gpio2 because our onboard led is connected on gpio2 and then go to tools and select the board and that is esp32 day module and also select the port which is connected on port number 10 as we see in the device manager then hit upload button as you can see the code is successfully uploaded and the onboard LED which is connected on the GPIO 2 is blinking every after 1 second. That means this ESP32 board is working super fine. Uh, now let's test the some I2C and SPI pins of this ESP32. Uh, for this I am going to uh, connect this 16 cross 2 LCD to check if this I2C and SPI pins are working or not. So let me connect the this I2C display with my ESP32. So we need to connect the SCL pin of this i2c module to the gpio 22 of our esp32 and sda to gpio 21 and vcc to 5 board and ground to ground here i have successfully connected this i2c display with my esp32 now let's upload the code a uh, basic example code uh, for this uh, go to files and from the examples open Arduino liquid crystal i2c lcd master and this hello world example code uh, this code is basically print hello world on the LCD. So let's upload this code and see. Here code is successfully uploaded and on the LCD you can see hello world is printed. That means I2C pin and SPI piece of the CSP32 is also working fine. Uh, now let's try to test the Bluetooth feature of this ESP32. For this I am going to upload a basic simple sketch. Uh, here I have made this sketch. Uh, this is the ESP32 test Bluetooth code in which if we send a uh, capital A then the uh, pin on which is connected on GPIO 2 will get high that means our LED will turn on and if I send a small A we will uh, turn off the relay that means our LED and the device name is here I put the device name test underscore ESP32 if you want you can change this uh, device name if you want so now let's upload this code and see what will happen uh, to test I'm going to uh, connect this LED to the ESP32 so let me remove the LCD and connect this LED so here we have successfully connected a LED so wait till code is compiling Uh, here code is successfully uploaded now let's see how this esp32 perform after connecting with bluetooth so here is my smartphone uh, first open bluetooth setting of your smartphone 
and click on pair new device you must see the device name that is under uh, test underscore esp32 that means uh, bluetooth feature of this esp32 is working super fine now click on this test underscore esp32 to pair with the phone uh, click on pair now open this app Teha. Uh, you will get the apk file of this app in the description then click here on connect click here test underscore esp32 and now tap this button uh, now you can see I am able to control the LED from this Android smartphone which is connected to ESP32 via Bluetooth. Uh, that means Bluetooth capability of this ESP32 is also working super fine. So Bluetooth, SPI pin, I2C pins and the onboard LED is also working super fine. So this time let's test the Wi-Fi capability of this ESP32. Uh, to test the Wi-Fi capability, I am going to use the KME Smart IoT Cloud to test this Wi-Fi capability of this ESP32 for this I will build a firmware and flash on this ESP32 and I will control this LED from the KME smart smartphone app uh, for this open this uh, KME config tool clear this click on this three dash icon then click here to connect with ESP32 then click here on connect then click here on upload firmware Uh, here as you can see firmware is successfully uploaded uh, now click here on this plus icon to add the devices uh, this is the test code so i'm going to use only a, a relay now click on here to configure that is uh, select the input and output pins so i'm going to use as an active high and gpio will be uh, i'm going to use to where is gpio 2 here it is and uh, pull up or pull down for input so we don't require any input uh, pin so I'm leaving as it is then click here to upload these settings as you can see it is uploaded successfully so now let's go and download the KME smartphone app and see how this ESP32 will perform uh, now you need to download this app that is KME smart uh, this app is available for both iOS and Android uh, after downloading open this app click on this plus icon button Click on add device and here you need to enter the SSID and password of your router or hotspot and after that click on connect. Uh, to pair with the smart connect mode, uh, click the boot button of this ESP32 for 3 seconds. As you can see onboard LED which is connected on the GPIO 2 will start blinking every after 1 second. That means this ESP32 is in smart connect mode. Now click on this via smart connect, click on single device click on add device click on save as you can see our esp32 is successfully paired with this app now we can easily control this led from our smartphone app uh, this shows offline it will take few seconds to get online uh, now our esp32 is online that means it is connected with the cloud so now we can easily control this led from this app And we can control this LED from anywhere from the world because this is connected to the cloud via Wi-Fi. So in this way, Wi-Fi capability of this ESP32 is also working super fine. So Bluetooth, SPI pin, I2C pins, onboard LED, Wi-Fi, everything is working super fine. This custom ESP32 development board is built with the ESP32 WROOM32 module featuring a dual core processor up to 240 MHz, built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 4 MB flash. It comes with a USB Type-C connector for modern, reversible power and programming and the CS340C USB to serial chip for smooth, driver-friendly uploading without external crystals. For flexibility, I have added both male and female headers, making it easy to use with the breadboards and jumper wires. The ESP32 gives you 38-bit multifunctional GPIOs which supports UART, SPI, I2C, PWM, ADC, DSC, touch sensors and more. In short, it's a powerful, versatile and maker-friendly board designed for IoT, robotics and embedded projects. So that was the complete walkthrough of my custom-designed ESP32 development board. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that it inspired you to design and build your own custom hardware. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more electronics, IoT and PCB design content. Uh, drop your questions and suggestions in the comments below. Uh, I always love hearing your feedback. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.